Oh, hello, this is not a spring check, and I am so excited, which is why, oh, wait a minute. Was it because Obama announced, oh, what is it, they were doing solar panels for heating? Or is it because I finished my taxes, yay! Or because Carmageddon 2, yes, 2, is coming tomorrow. Oh, actually, I guess technically on Saturday, but it's already been ongoing to the Southern California. So for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, actually it is because they do have a Democrat now that basically has managed to get himself on, and he's not on any of the states that Obama, it is a blue state that's certain to stay blue, but he's in the red states that are marginal uh, going uh, blue. So uh, he, they figure that he'll take one to two percentage points away from um, Mitt Romney, but and uh, okay, you know that it's a Democrat thing because he says, well, I'm actually going to take votes away from the President of the United States, and the people in the Obama campaign are cheering his entrance into the thing because they said it kills Romney. So you know where the guy is getting money for a 20-state campaign. I know. See, part of it is with the 20-state campaign. Here's this part that's suspicious is you can't become an elected president anyway. It's, it's awesome. 20 states. And okay? they said the only reason for running a 20-state campaign is to make certain that one of the candidates doesn't get elected. Mm -hmm. Because... Um, what is it? The Libertarians running a 50-state campaign. Oh. So they don't count the Libertarians in because the Libertarians are going to get X amount of the vote no matter I mean, what. They'll get the Libertarian vote. And the Libertarians, they're not going to vote. The Libertarians are not going to vote for Obama or Romney. They're only going to vote for the Libertarians. So they, they, it's a funny, you got a whole voting class that are totally ignored because they're not going to vote for anybody, but they wouldn't vote for anybody but Ron Paul. So. And Obama puts more money into solar panel companies. I know, it's ridiculous. They said the solar panels are down to like pennies now. Oh, they are? I mean, they're, they're basically wow. so worthless that, um, that they're being dumped on, the Chinese are dumping them on the market just to get rid of the gut that they have. And oh, the, you know the solar panels that they're dumping on the market? Obama paid the Chinese to make. At the same time, he's putting money into solar panel companies in the United States, which have no market whatsoever for their product. Mm -hmm. And they basically are trying to put an end to it. Well, I mean, it's really making most of the Democrats look stupid that they keep investing into something. They said that um, uh, Spain went busted on it, Great Britain has went busted on it, the French have went busted, the Germans have went busted, the Chinese have went busted, and it doesn't work because they said. Okay, Herbie Daddy's going to say something very important to me. Oh, we went, we've been to those things, haven't we? And it costs so much money more to do solar power or wind power than it does to do any other power that it's not feasible. Plus, the infrastructure is going to cost trillions of dollars to build, and it's never going to happen. And iPhone 5, is it worth the money? Well, that's right, because it basically, if you, liked, if you liked all the problems that iPhone 4 had, you have them with iPhone 5, plus it doesn't have a good mapping system now. They're using Apple Maps, which uh, starts out in third place, actually it starts out in dead last behind Google and Yahoo, and isn't likely to go any further because Yahoo was the first to map everything, then Google mapped everything with the satellites, and, and guess who doesn't have satellites to do mapping? Oh. It's Apple. Mm. And voting laws may disenfranchise 10 million Hispanic U.S. citizens. Uh oh. Hurry Daddy is once again. Oh, listen to that. Oh my God. You know what Hurry Daddy said? He said, You have to have an ID to get insurance. You have to have an ID to get a driver's license. You have to have an ID to cash a check. You have to have an ID to open a checking account. You have to have an ID to get a Social Security card. And it goes on and on and on. But it's supposedly going to disenfranchise 10 million people that already have IDs to do all the above, which they're, um, you know, it's just, the court basically, I mean, even the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals said, this, it, the Supreme Court has already ruled on this. They said, asking you for something that you already have or cost you nothing to get is not uh, restricting voting. He said, you know, first of all, one of the guys in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals said, oh, who are going to say it? He said specifically, he said, you're supposed to be a citizen of this country to vote. So, <laughs> I know. And new Teslas to cost as much as old Teslas. Yeah, and get worse mileage. 
Oh. Isn't that something? Well, because Obama gave them $500 million to build the new Tesla in Finland or Sweden, one of those countries in Scandinavia. Mm. Yeah, not in the United States. You know why they're not building in the United States? Mm. Because they can't afford to build it here. Oh. So they took it out of the country. They took, they love it. They took, or took our government, our country's money, took it to another country, and are building a car that cost a hundred thousand dollars. It can only drive around the city of Los Angeles, but it can drive fast. Mm -hmm. A new breast cancer clue is found in gene analysis. Yeah, because okay, and Herbie Daddy's got a response to that. He said, you know, if you have a history of breast cancer in the family, you might have breast cancer. That's normally the assumption. Well, no, but that, they did a study to, to say that. about. They said they spent a zillion dollars to do a study to tell you that it's in your gen genes, that if, you, if your relatives have it, you're likely to have it too. Isn't that why when you fill out insurance information, they ask you what diseases your relatives have? Oh, oh, oh. You've excited Herbie Daddy. You're not allowed to ask those questions anymore. But they do. Not on Obamacare because you're automatically covered no matter what. So therefore, they no longer care what you had. Wow. Because Obamacare you know, is headed towards single payment system, folks, which is not going to happen because they said that, uh -oh, you said that 47% will take it. An avalanche on Nepal peak kills at least nine climbers. Oh God! They went. It basically they went climbing during good weather, and, uh, and what happens when you climb during good weather? The snows get loose because it starts to melt, and basically they came down. They hit the base camp of all things. Oh, they did. It generally never happens. And from Nigeria to Athens, Muslims protest rumble on. Yeah. Oh, they they did say. Uh oh, Herbie Daddy, you know what Herbie Daddy said? They said they have now shown that the Obama administration knew from day one that uh, it was a terrorist act by Al Qaeda. And they basically, oh, it was just a bump in the road. Oh. And Ann Coulter, Democrats are dropping the blacks. Well, because, they don't, uh, okay, here's what happens is Ann Coulter said, you got to remember, there's an awful lot of hardworking black Americans that don't want their tax money given to people that don't get off their asses, so therefore they're not supporting the Democrats that much. Plus the fact, who has suffered the most? There are two groups that have suffered the most under Obama. Hmm. One of them is females, because they got the highest unemployment in the nation, and the second one is Afro-Americans, who have the second highest unemployment in the nation. Hmm. And they, you know, he still, and if you're over 30 and a woman, you don't vote for Obama. If you're under 30 and a woman, you worship the ground he works on. Talks on. And flight attendant tries to bring loaded guns through the airport. I know, that had to be the most stupid thing. Well, the what? You notice that they're carrying it. Ah. Now, well, see, they don't have to go through security, but they brought it on the airplane, so. So, do pilots have guns? The pirates, pilots have, can carry guns that the, the flight attendants aren't supposed to, but now they know the flight attendants are bringing the guns with mm -hmm. them. And the deaths in Libya, just a bump in the road. I know, isn't that amazing? Here's Obama. He said that... Uh, the deaths in Libya were nothing but a bump in the road. The, the, a nuclear Iran is just noise that I don't pay any attention to. And uh, the, the, the debt, it's not something that bothers me. It's not? No, it doesn't bother him. Yeah, I said, I don't lose any sleep over it. And early letters show controlling behavior of Nazi Goebbels. Yeah. The, because that's a Nazi Goebbels. That, uh, uh, that's a Her, you know, Herman Goebbels, you know, the, basically the, the uh, propaganda minister of, of the Nazi empire. They discovered things that, that he wrote that says he was a loony. Well, they knew he was a they loony. They knew he was a loony. But they, they basically found things that proved the uh, thought that he was so. And Trader Joe's recalls peanut butter linked to salmonella. Okay. What it amounts to is the Obama administration is trying to remove all peanut butter from the shelves because we're going to do... They are on an attack against yeah, peanut butter. Because it has to do with this about Mark Twain. He said that basically, that uh, here, here's his thing about what the, what the Obamas are doing. He said, in other words, I'm supposed to stop eating steak because there's a baby in the room that can't eat steak. Yes, screw that. That's basically, you know, they're, they're wanting, they've removed, they basically... Uh, confiscated a peanut butter sandwich from a kid in Arkansas because the peanut again they basically uh, uh, they'll say the Obama uh, Michelle Obama doesn't think that you should be having peanut butter because it might have an effect on somebody in school. Mm. If you don't eat it, it has no effect on you. 
And UN chief warns Iran's Ahmadinejad on uh, fiery rhetoric. Yeah, and then he did it anyway. And Nintendo's Wii U to launch at November 18th start at $300. Yeah, and basically what happens is is that uh, once again, PlayStation Sony stumbled with their brand new PS game because it's, it's instead of reducing the price to sell it like uh, like Xbox and Nintendo's doing, they kept the prices high again, which basically stepped all over their new product. Oh, they did. Yeah. And a nuclear Iran is just wind blowing to me. Yeah. And he said, I don't, he said it, 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 it doesn't make me lose any sleep. That's. They said Obama actually. Uh, he said these things on a 60 Minutes, and the reporter, what? What? I mean, they're okay. What happened is, is oh. Kirby Daddy says only Bill O'Reilly thinks that this guy is a great, a great wit. He said he wasn't on a teleprompter, and when he wasn't on a teleprompter, they told him he couldn't have a teleprompter in the room, you know. And uh, he started. He just says what he really thinks when he's not on teleprompter, and it's what he really thinks. They said the guy is so disassociated with the real world. This is you what you know. I think he's just reading what it's ever is in the teleprompter, and it's not. There's he does, no it, sticking. He does, it, it's just, know, just, just, just like other people do. Like job. a robot. That's right. So it's like I don't think he recalls what he's been saying when it's on teleprompter. No, he, all he does is if he gets pressed on it, he loses his temper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the plan. Yeah. Right? Yep. And NASA funds research into self building spaceships. Um, yeah, it's, it's called Frankenstein, which is really the name it's called Frankenstein. Oh, are they really calling it <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, well, because, uh, okay, uh, Obama, okay, Muslim, okay, we're going to have it. There's only one person in the whole universe that doesn't know Obama is a Muslim. <coughs> yes, Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> and she, and basically Muslims don't believe in space travel. So naturally, uh, Obama has killed the space program other than as an outreach program for Muslims. And Mobile Device Privacy Act is on its way to becoming a law. Yeah, and but uh, it, there's a difference between it being a law and being enforced because right now, Facebook could basically give the finger to the settlement that it made on privacy. Oh, they did? Yeah, they're going to do they're doing it anyway. Ooh, Anna Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, that uh, this one's from Herbie Daddy that if you, you get exactly what you deserve when you elect a person that you know has done everything wrong and you elect him again. <laughs>